Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video. And in this video, I want to show you how you can find the length of all hierarchy nodes within Power BI. So from past two or three videos, we have been working with uh, hierarchy and uh, the different way you can retrieve or manipulate hierarchies. And here I want to show you, like I said, uh, the length of all hierarchy nodes. And I will show you or I will basically give you a reason as well why you would require that. Let's say you don't have any previous background. Maybe you are new to this analysis and wondering why would you need that? Even that explanation I will give based on my experience, you know, a scenario where you can find this useful. Before I move ahead, if you are if you have landed very first time on my channel, then a quick information that this sheet which is a live Google sheet is present in the description. You can access it via there where you can search all of my previous 150 videos uh, by quickly searching it like control F and you can find whatever tutorial you want. And based on the link that is given in the column B, you can jump to that YouTube tutorial. That way searching the tutorial will become easy. Also, since it is a live sheet, as I mentioned, it is a live Google sheet. All of my future videos will be automatically updated as I will update them over here. So make sure you bookmark this and use it whenever you need any specific Power BI tutorial. With that, let's move on to the topic. So topic is that we want to find the length. For example, if you look at this path column over here, the length over here is one because it's the first employee or the only employee over here. The length is three because you have one, two and three here. The length is two here. The length is three here. The length is four. Similarly, you can see that you may have thousands of rows where you may want to find a length. Now, why would you want to find a length? That's an important thing because you can apply in function. You can get it. But why would you need that? Well, you need that in scenarios like those where you want to run a particular analysis, for example, how many managers you have. So if you see the managers or a particular designation of manager is present at a particular hierarchy, like at number two, then you want to look at the path length where the length of the path is two, right? Similarly, you may have the different designation at different level and you want to find only at that specific level as to how many you have. So, for example, over here, if you see the overall, uh, sorry, this is not the part, but let me apply this and, and give it to you. First, let me create a column. Um, this is the new column where, so first thing first, I am in a data model view, as you can see, sorry, uh, the data view, not the data model, data model is over here. I am in the data view in the sheet, which I've been using, uh, which is nothing but employee and manager hierarchy. Here I will find EMP underscore length, EMP length is equals to, and the function is the path length. And I will simply specify the path which is nothing but EMP underscore MGR field where the path is specified earlier, which I have done that. So EMP underscore MGR and I will click OK. And here I will going to have the length. So if you see, I have this spec different types of lengths like three, two, and here you have three and four and so on. So if you are looking at any, but the lowest level of the node like this one, then you can basically utilize this column with the help of the max function because the maximum value is the four over here. That means how many, let's say if you have the lowest designation in your company as associate analyst, then how many associate <laughs> analyst you have in the hierarchy. But since you have like uh, multiple nodes with the help of this column, you can find first of all, what is the overall length and where on which particular length the particular design, designation is present and what is the count of that designation. Now this opens up, like I said, many possibilities, not just in the case of employee and manager, but let's say you have a product hierarchy, right? So you may have a different length. Similarly, there may be the country hierarchy, right? You may have like country, the, <coughs> excuse me, the state and the city and so on and so forth. So wherever the hierarchy is, you will find that you will be able to use this function. So that's mainly the work of this function to find what 
the biggest length or the lowest length or a particular length is at a particular level of the node and that way you can find let's say the count or you can just extract that information based on the needs of the analysis so with that um, i hope you have uh, understood this first of all how to utilize this and why in which scenario you may need to utilize this but if still you have any question let me know in the comments and i'll be uh, happy to answer that with that thank you so much